Hi, I'm Martin from Oxygen Jet, and I'm just going to be showing you how you prepare a PG09 cartridge, like this one, um, for refilling, um, check whether or not it needs flushing, and um, basically the process to go through. Right, first thing to do is check whether or not your cartridge needs um, any kind of flushing or pulling or etc. Um, you'll notice if you look into this particular one here through this slot, um, the metal plate. Um, which you see here. Now that is attached to the bag um, of ink inside. If the plate is right at the back, as in this case, then you've got very little air in there um, and you can pretty much get on with refilling. Um, the only qualifier is this has been um, exposed to the air for any length of time um, and you may want to think about flushing. Um, it's entirely up to you. If it's been sitting in the printer, um, not in use, but it's been in the printer, then chances are you can just refill. Another example here, and we've uh, had to fake this because most cartridges, to be honest with you, end up looking like this. But if you've got a cartridge that looks like this, then you'll want to pull all of the air out of this before you continue. So the way we do that is using one of our little flush clips. What you do, you clip it on, uh, clip it on at that end, and then uh, clip like that. Then you use a syringe, like this one. Um, and then literally just gently, and I'll show you what happens as I do this. And you gently push, pull that back. And as you'll notice, the metal plate inside um, is starting to move towards the back, and I'm starting to get some resistance to this. Once you've got all of the air out of there, that's um, basically ready to refill. Now, the nice thing about these cartridge design is that when you pull the air out, the air stays out. Right, now then, we're going to assume that this particular cartridge has been sat around, open to the air for months. So we're actually going to show you how to flush. Like I said, this isn't generally necessary. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to show you how to do it. <clears throat> so we're using distilled water. You only need about 20, 30 mils worth. Your flush clip goes back on. Clips on. You then screw your cartridge on like that. And all you're doing, you don't need to force it particularly hard. You just want to fit it with this distilled water. Give it a good shake. As you can see, we've had a bit of back pressure and it's already gone into there. So, and then vacuum it out again. Put all that ink out and the water so you get a good strong pull. Disconnect. You just dump it. And I've got a container here that I'm using. Pull some more water and repeat. Push that in. And put it all out again. All you're doing is basically getting all of that ink and water and stuff mixed up so that you can put it all out and keep it nice and clean. Now, I mean, obviously you'd be using this particular approach if, for example, you decided that you had too many yellows or cyans or whatever the heck it was and you wanted to use one of them as a different colour cartridge. So you would need to obviously flush these out properly before you did that. But most of the time this isn't really necessary. Just push and pull. A bit more water in it this time, just to give it a really good flush out. What happened is this plate in the front here, as you can see, it's starting to get quite clean, um, but not so much there. So you have to overpressure it slightly to get any water behind there. Oops, it is easy. And uh, one of the things, if you overpressure, as has just happened now, 
you can actually blow the cartridge out like that. So that will clip back in, you don't have to worry. That's not a blown cartridge, we haven't got um, water going everywhere at this point. But just be aware that you can actually overstress these. I'm just trying to get that ink that's behind there out. As you can see, it's slowly but surely starting to clear it. You've got a bit of a hard bit of ink. Oh, it's done. One key thing, if you've got a damaged cartridge, this part here isn't really necessary. Most of this is just container. The bit at the back here is slightly different, but you can actually take this off and it wouldn't really affect the um, ink carrying capacity. Well, you want it on anyway because you want to stop the bag from overfilling, but um, what I'm saying is if this pops off, that doesn't break the seal. The bag inside is the bit that holds the ink. If you've got a leak in that, so when you push like this in and you start getting ink leaking out here, toss the cartridge. It's not going to be any use to you at all because it's going to be compromised. So that's something to look out for. Right, I'm going to pull a nice hard vacuum on that. Once you're finished with the flushing, disconnect from there, get rid of the rest of your water. If you've been using tap water to start with, make sure that you use flush, you flush with distilled water afterwards. If you're using a cleaning solution, which to be quite frank you don't need to use with these, make sure again you flush with distilled water before you fill with ink. The reason for that is any chemicals in the cleaning solution, um, any minerals in the hard water um, from normal tap water may well cause problems with your nozzles later on. So use distilled water um, as a final flush. And we've already done that anyway. That's what we're using from the get-go. So. We're all right. I'm just going to use some fresh water. There's still a little bit in here, but I'll just do it one more last flush. Just in and out. And pull. I'll give it a good yank. Pull as much air out of there as possible. And water, obviously. And I think what I'll probably just do is disconnect there. Okay? Now, you'll notice the sponge has obviously still got some ink in it. Um, something to bear in mind if you're planning on reusing the, the uh, cartridge for something else. You're going to get some cross-contamination from here anyway for quite a while. So bear that in mind. Just to recap, you shouldn't need to do this. Unless your cartridge has sat around for months, open to the air, um, you should be fine. So that's it. That is effectively how you flush a PGI 9 cartridge and prepare it ready for filling.